OK, so let's go through this problem. Um, and a lot of students will forget, um, basically, you know, how do you solve when you have uh, the variable in as a power, all right? Well, the basic thing is we can't solve when the variable is as a power, just like we can't solve for a variable when it's in the denominator. So the best thing we want to do is we have to get the variable out of that power. And we'll do more of this once we get into logarithms and exponential functions. Um, but this is, again, just a reminder, kind of refresher, um, something that also comes back from algebra 2 to kind of remind you guys of. So the main property you guys want to understand to solve this problem is what we call the one-to-one -one property. And basically what the one-to-one -one property you know, explains, if you're going to say 3 squared is equal to 3 to the x. Now, if I was going to make this, if this, since this, if to show that this equation is true, what is the one only and only value that we can plug in for x that would make this equation true? 2, right? There's no other number you can use for x that's going to make this equation true. So when you have two exponents with the same base equal to one another, their powers are also equal to each other. Okay, Two exponents with the same base, then you can rewrite that their powers are equal to each other. Okay. So we look at this, and you say, well, these don't have the same power. These don't have the same base, though, do they? So we got a little issue with that. However, is it OK if I write 3 squared is the same thing as 9, or 9 is the same thing as 3 squared? Could I do that? And the reason why I want to do that is because then they would have the same base. Make sense? So what I'll do is I'll rewrite this as 3 squared times 2x minus 1 equals 3 times 3x plus 3. All right. Now, there's another rule from algebra 2 you guys are going to want to remember. And this is the power rule. Whenever you have a base or an exponent raised to another power, you have to multiply the powers. So that becomes x to the a times b. So I'm going to rewrite this problem as 3 squared times 2x minus 1 equals 3 times 3x plus 3. I'm a little lost. Yeah. OK, well, where did, where did I lose you? All I did is, instead of writing 9, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. Do you agree with me? So I just replaced 9 with 3 squared. Why I did that, or why I knew to do that, is because I want to get the bases to both be 3. Because I know once the bases are both 3, I can just solve the exponents. Here's where I'm going to get to this. Exactly. So. You're coming right down to max. But did I cut you up to here? Because I'm going to explain this part. Yeah. OK. So the most common mistake that students will do is remember, this is x to the a. So this is like 3 squared right, raised to the 2x minus 1. So i got to multiply a times b. right? So the most common mistake that students make is they don't put parentheses. And they just do this. They say, oh, it's 2 times 2x minus 1. Right? Well, if I wrote that like that, then, of course, you're just going to multiply the 2 times the 2x. But remember, it's 2 times this whole expression. That's why you have to put parentheses in there, because you have to apply distributive property. Does that make sense? Yeah. So whenever you guys are doing that, it's very, very important. I was just about to say it before you went in. Very, very important that you guys include the parentheses. I've made the mistake many, many times. So to help yourself out, Whenever you're multiplying a number by an expression, put the expression around parentheses. Because I've done it. You're going to do it. It's the most common mistake that I have here. All right. So now, though, we have this. Now we have the bases are equal. I can simplify those to, um, so now I'll distribute property. So I'll do 4x minus 2 equals 3x plus 3. All right. Uh, I'm going to go through this very quickly because we're going to learn how to solve equations. We're going to do this slower. So if you do get pretty lost, don't <coughs> worry. I still will say it out loud what I'm doing, but we're going to do more practice on this later. So I'm going to get the variables to the same side. So I'll subtract 3x on both sides. x minus 2 equals positive 3. Add 2, add 2, 
x equals 5. And that is your answer, J. Yeah!